AITAH for not wanting my husband's mom at our wedding? I am not the OOP. OOP is U Pressure Emergency 250. AITAH for not wanting my husband's mom at our wedding? Originally posted to our AITAH. Trigger warning. Verbal abuse. Emotional abuse. Consensual DNA test. Accusations of infidelity. Marital interference. Mentions brain tumor. Less than. Original post September 24, 2023. For context. My husband and I got married in a courthouse two years ago. I told my husband to tell his family but. He didn't want to since his family wasn't my biggest fan. His family can be extremely judgmental and have said they didn't like me or my character because I grew up in a place completely opposite of where they're from. Every time I had met with his family some type of drama would unfold. For example, his mom accused me of touching his brother's leg inappropriately at his grandfather's funeral. I slapped his knee because he told me a joke I thought was funny. I chalked it up to the fact she just lost her dad. She didn't like me, so she needed someone to take some type of anger out on. I put up with a lot more than that for my husband since I never wanted to be the type of person to ask him to chose. Five months ago I had our second child. When I had found out I was pregnant my husband and I were going through a rough patch. We almost divorced because of a lot of things his mother being one of them. We decided to really work on our marriage and we've been amazing ever since. The best we've ever been. During my pregnancy his mother and I got really close. I'd like to say I am a really forgiving person and try to see the best in everyone. Also it was making my husband happy. She even came down to stay with us when I had the baby. Fast forward a month later she called my husband and said her and his dad would love to come and visit since his dad had yet to meet the baby. I thought the visit went well but while my husband had went outside to get my toddler's car seat from their rental car my Phil told my husband he needs to swab his mouth to make sure the baby was his. My husband of course got angry and asked my Phil if that was the reason they came to visit. My mill ran outside because she heard them fighting and told my husband it was nothing like that. That everyone in the family was swabbing their mouths because they were doing a 23 and me. She said that my Sil and Bill had done it so they wanted him to do it too. He declined doing one and we left it at that. A month after the visit, my mill called my husband and said she needed to speak with him privately. He went outside for an hour to speak with his mother and he came back inside visibly upset. He pulled me to my room privately and informed me that my mill and Phil had swabbed both my newborn's mouth and my toddler's mouth when they had visited. They said that my toddler came back 99.99% .99 related to them but my newborn only came back 11% related to them. So they felt the need to tell my husband so he could get my newborn DNA tested. I was confused and angry. I had also just found out my brother had a brain tumor as well so there had already been a lot going on for me emotionally. When my husband and I separated I had not slept with anyone else since our relationship was so rocky. I didn't want to do anything more to jeopardize losing him so I wasn't understanding why she felt the need to take a DNA test into her own hands especially since it wasn't a concern of my husband's. Ever since my husband was told of the DNA test him and his mother would not stop fighting for a number of reasons. I no longer trusted her with my children and I no longer wanted her around and she couldn't understand that. We decided to get a DNA test on our newborn so we can shove the results in her face and we could move on with our lives. Of course the test came back 99.9999999999% my husband's and she thought we could just pretend it didn't happen but the damage was done. That brings us to today. We set boundaries with Mill and FIL. They can no longer video chat the children every day like before. Our daughter is not allowed to go over Mills alone.
and we no longer update them about things going on in our lives. We've kept them at a distance and it's working for us. Recently my husband and I started marriage classes so we could redo our wedding with our families. Included. My family knows the whole situation with Mill and I'm also not her biggest fan so I told my husband. I do not feel comfortable inviting them to our wedding. My husband was obviously upset but understood. We have sent out our save the dates to everyone in his family but Mill and FIL. There has been nothing but drama since. I'm putting my foot down on the situation and still strong on the decision that I do not want them to come but my husband is stressed because they're involving everyone in his family in our drama. Should I just give in for his sake and invite them? Should I stand my ground and still say no? AITA if I don't invite them? Edit. I just want to clarify a few things. My husband told his mom we got married an hour after we said I do. He was hesitant to tell his mill because one dot she wasn't my biggest fan and two. She wants all her children to get married in a church. So the first words out of her mouth were, you guys aren't actually married, and it is now, that is. Not your wife, whenever they're arguing because she's drunk. Also, my husband is the one who wants this wedding. I was reluctant and I personally thought a party was enough but he does want us to get married. Married in a church so after I thought about it and I figured things out with myself religiously. I agreed. And to answer the question most asked. She has not apologized. She has called me to talk out the situation and I explained to her I understood her doubt. I also explained to her that it made no sense to me why she couldn't just ask me for the test since. Her and I were in such a good spot. I would have done in willingly. Her apology went along the lines of, I'm not going to apologize because I believe what I did was right to protect mine, and when I informed her we were taking some space her response was, I don't understand because I've disrespected you so much in the past why is now different. Quote, so for those saying they're all for second chances, I've given her a million. I've spoke with my husband about the situation and he said that he is fine with either. He is fine with them not being there and he is fine with them being there under certain conditions. Relevant Comments Eastern Ben 7294 Op you'll have to tell me if I'm wrong here. Most likely. Because this was a lot to take in. But has ye or husband stood up for you on a regular basis? Like even before they came with the DNA percentages? Or did he also let things they say slide? Oop replied. He didn't in the beginning that's why we almost divorced. But once we decided to work on our relationship he has and it feels like it's just been this. Constant battle for a year and a half. Update November 13th, 2023. Hello all. It has been a month since my initial post and I thought I'd update some on the situation. Firstly. I would like to thank all that have provided me with beneficial advice a lot of which did not fall on deaf ears so thank you guys. So after careful consideration I've decided that if my mill would like to attend the wedding and if my husband would like to invite her then so be it. I would not like to be the bad guy nor would I like my husband to resent me in the future for not allowing his mother to attend. A lot of people said it is just not the hill to die on and I agree. My mill did come to visit this past weekend. I decided to stay home since I would like to protect my mental health and I felt nothing good would come from me meeting with her. My husband however, had multiple conversations with her in regards to the issue. She stated that my decision to limit her visitation and communication with the kids was out of spite and that she did, apologize, so it was up to me to accept it. In other words take it or leave it. Here comes the good part. She has decided that when her lease is up in March she will be moving closer to us. Same city. So she could, help us out whenever we need it. My husband informed her it was not a good idea and that a conversation between her and I would need to happen beforehand. 
I informed him I have no interest in speaking with her because she is set on the idea that she did. Nothing wrong. I did not want her to come down here. And now I feel like I'm distancing myself from my husband because I am trying to avoid the inevitable which would be him taking her side like he did in the past. Granted a lot of changes have happened but I think the whole situation brings up past emotions for me. To think of her closer to us makes me want to vomit. My husband said something when returning from his meeting with her that was along the lines of, she said she apologized did she? When I had told him no prior. He did the same exact thing when his mom called me a slut in front of his whole family same verbiage. She said she didn't say that did she? Quote, so that's why it is bring up all of these past emotions and that is why I am saying it is inevitable. I really don't know what to do. I love my husband but at the same time I value my own mental health so I do not have the energy to fight this fight again. This is a repost sub I am not the oop. Oh god. Oop shouldn't have married him when he hasn't divorced his mom. This is a bomb waiting to blow. Yeah. Congrats to everyone who convinced Oop to surrender her wedding boundary to her mill. Mill has decided that means she's free to trample over every other boundary. Looks like OOP's headed towards divorce down. Population her. Maybe it's because of my childhood but I genuinely can't imagine letting my parents disrespect me. Or any partner I might have. Like what the hell is wrong with you that as an adult you have no boundaries? My mill is quite manipulative. But in very different ways. She's always the victim. And plays it pretty well with plausible deniability. It's easier just to not be around her rather than be sucked into the crazy. I refuse to move back to be close to my awesome in-laws because it means being close to my not. Awesome in-laws. At this point, Op is going to hurt herself furthermore if she is going to stay in this marriage. It's clear the mill is very difficult and isn't going to stop with that behavior and OP's husband is not doing anything better to help this situation. I won't be surprised if OP's husband is a mama's boy. I don't think it's gonna end well for Op. I do not have the energy to fight this fight again. Hope she keeps fighting or else the mill will get worse than this. Op needs to go and see, and her husband needs to grow spine, balls and probably another organ or two. I would divorce him. For me it sounds like he's a mommy's boy and doesn't respect you and his mother can't do wrong. I dunno but I just can't believe the majority of readers would say this was not the hill to die on. It totally was. Also her husband is not having her back at all. Having such an unreliable partner must be hell in this situation. How can you be 11% related to someone? Like how? Your husband is, perhaps unwittingly, working with Mill to destroy your marriage. If he wants to stay married, perhaps he should act like you are the one he is married to. Oh, assuming you are still together when they move close. Prior to their arrival have a tall privacy fence with a gate that locks on the inside. Keep doors closed and locked. And all ground floor windows closed and locked. Wouldn't hurt to have a ring doorbell, security cams. I don't get these situations. My mom always thinks nobody is good enough for me and I am her favorite child. Difficult past with an abusive father. I was the only one trying to protect her. But I made absolutely sure that she knows. My own happiness is my first priority and if she can't get along with my partner that I won't hesitate to drop her. No parent has the right to meddle in what their grown child likes or doesn't. They can judge all they want but gotta live with the consequences. It seems like a husband problem aside from the mill problem. Let the wedding happen, say no and leave. Nah. 
Tell him straight up that you have zero interest in having a relationship with his mother or having her close by. My Phil is hard to get along with. I told my husband that I'm not living with in-laws who I can't get along with. If being around someone just causes strife and misery, it's a no. This woman is delusional as she thinks she's gonna have her happy ever after with her spineless husband. She needs to take those kids, run, and never look back. You're still trying to marry this man? You know they say you marry the family two eyes I would think carefully. All I can say is keep in mind you marry your partner's families and some families make great individuals someone you shouldn't even consider as a partner. You were all right. And I will allow her to come as this is not the hill to die on, oop. In response to literally no one. This girl is so in denial she may as well be on a cruise through Egypt. Most comments on her post told her to go and see that she was being disrespected, etc. One of the few I saw that said NC was a big thing to do literally told her that she should go and see. Because her ILs crossed a line. This poor woman gaslit herself into thinking people actually supported her in-laws. Though the truth is they weren't. I doubt she'll ever divorce her husband. He'll again promise to be nice and keep Mill at bay. Be nice for some time. Then go back to being a spineless idiot. Ad infinitum. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.